the Ava Cognitive. Welcome back, my chads and lasses. You have found Chimo Chills. We are a big, chonky Avaria, and we are going for the Avar Cognit. Achieve the Empire rank, done, and conquer Hungary as Avaria. Well, we are knocking, knock, knock, knocking on Hungary's door down here. And from the Religious War, Transylvania got popped out. Transylvania is still, of course, holding on to all of those Hungarian cores. This is perfect. Now, the, literally the previous episode, the League War ended. I pause. Not one day has passed. I cannot let any um, peace treaties begin to form. I can't let guarantees happen. I need to start these wars today, now. What we are going to do. I have Lithuania. All of those beautiful cores to take back from Commonwealth. So let's continue to knock down the Commonwealth. Commonwealth is still number six great power. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. I want him off that list. I don't like having big, hostile, great powers on my border. The second move, well, let, let's start with move number one. Let, let us attack the Commonwealth. Okay, so Otzel Man, I'm going to make it return core of, I don't know, anything down here. Kijau, is that right there? Okay, Kijau, right next to my border. As for co any of these guys, no, they're all in the HRE. It would just bring in a whole whack of people. I, I don't need anything to do with that. We want easy war, or as easy as reasonably possible. Oh, look at that. There was Commonwealth troops running across my land. That would have been fun if we went straight to battle with them. Hmm. How confident am I with my troops? Do I want to just charge on to them or not? <laughs> Alright, I'm going to jump out of the mock speed 5. So both these guys are going to stop training. I'm thinking these armies I'm actually going to attack. Well, you'll, you'll see in just a moment. And then we should have one army doing nothing. This 25 stack. Rebel Rising, Quasim, and Corsican. So I'm getting more rebels on Corsica. Really? Really? That's a little bit annoying. You know, I'm going to do something I never do. I'm going to actually raise autonomy just so I don't have to deal with those Corsican rebels. As for Quasim, I believe Quasim is up here in Central Asia. Yeah, it's right up next to Muscovy. A tag... I don't believe I've ever seen that might be a, an OPM. A Mishar Orthodox, Orthodox OPM, whatever. It's not getting released today. So with that in mind, we can run this 25 stack. It would be... Do I have them there so I can attack those boys? Mazandaram's 12 years. No, no. I, I don't know what this guy's doing down here. It's in Kaffa. With a Jam not in it. I don't want to fight a Jam. No, no. This 25 stack is definitely not needed down south. Let's run you home. Oh, yeah. Genoa was the other one I wanted to look at. Papal States in Venice. That's a maybe. And the Ottoman would join in on that, too. All right. I'm going to start making a claim on Genoa because I would like to clean up, clean up my home area. This is far too close to my capital for my liking. We got, we got lots of cleaning up to do. So with, with that in mind, let's go ahead and get that spy network on Genoa. All right. This battle is occurring. Let's send in the reinforcements. And who else wants to join? More people want to come. Denmark, the Danes, come on in, Denmark. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. Come one, come all. Now, they're they're going to keep reinforcing. I, I am going to lose that. My reinforcements had no morale, unfortunately. And I don't want to send in another stack of troops with no morale. So if I, if I have to fall back... Oh, I don't know. Would I get there after? Oh, whatever. Let's go in. I got lots of manpower. 173,000 manpower. It feels good to actually have some, some bodies to throw at this. Stab cost and influence gain. We'll deal with it. No, we're still going to lose it anyways. Okay, my mistake. Allow us to fall back. Boom, you are running out. You're running out. You guys are turning around. All right, Commonwealth. Well, uh, well done. Well done. Well done. Now our second play here. Cleves is... Look at this! Look at this! Cleves is the HRE Emperor. He only has three electors. So that means there's only three? What? Is that possible? There's only three Protestant nations? In the, no, there's way more than three Protestant nations. Why is there not more than three electors? I have no idea what's going on here. Why there's only three electors. But uh, I'm not going to even think about that. Cleves has... 
no troops. He's not defending. And apparently the Ottoman would help me anyways on this. But this is cool. I got this one, Ottoman. I got this one. You can sit this one out. <laughs> Boom. This 25,000 has come south. The Ottoman would join again. I, did, I want the Ottoman focusing on the Commonwealth. I'll have them run right through Transylvania proper. You boys can keep running. Keep going. Don't get stuck there. Don't get stuck. <laughs> Or can we just run behind? No, it would be like around this way. Okay, that's no problem. I'll, since they are weakened, are they literally running onto another siege in the Commonwealth? It looks like they are. Yeah, they are. That's where they're going. Well, that's kind of where I want you. I want you to go jump on a fort, dude. So, yeah, thank you. What we will do, though, is detach a couple troops so we can grab these occupations. So, let's say one, two. Again, anything I can... um. I can clear up space and um, attention of the Ottoman. I want the Ottoman just focused on the Commonwealth troops. Smash those Commonwealth boys. Get them out of my hair. The Muscovites, we're just going for uh, 14 dev. Looks good. Denmark, you are not taught. We can improve relations with you. Ajam, when in doubt, make your neighbors love you. All right, we're good. All of our diplomats are gainfully employed. So be a half cost diplo. Ah, I'm losing money. I'll just take those 50 diplo points straight up. I think I'm behind on my diplo tech. It is the only one. Not behind. I'm just not ahead of my diplo tech. It's the only one I'm not gaining innovativeness from. So let's get ahead on that. Correct that mistake. Those sieges are happening. We got a natural wall breach there. Perfect. Let's get you boys all up. Get a wall breach there. Yes, that's what we like. Navy off the coast. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. And the leader. Junkie leader. What is this? 2150. Well, I have space to roll one more, so I am going to roll it. And much better. 5333. Three, three. Much, 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 much better. I like it. Now, just being they have so many numbers, I am going to run my, my troops over here. Even though I, I do want to attack Genoa. That is the uh, the point of that that army. But <clears throat> all things in due time. All things in due time. We're at 28%. I, I should get that fort before they come at me. Lithuania, go north, dude. Why would you want to fight me? <laughs> I'm the big enemy. You should be wanting to avoid me. Think. Think, Lithuania. Is. He's attacking that army, but the Ottoman are coming to help me. How is that going to turn out? So those boys can run up. You will run up as well. See how this goes. Ottoman reinforcements. I don't think we get there in time. No, nope, no. Nope. He has broken that siege. Well done. That's three battles I've now lost against the Commonwealth. Commonwealth, why are you, you you're just stacking up and attacking me? You know what? The, um, the AI has been playing smarter this patch. It, it really has. I've, I've heard someone else make that exact point, and, and I have to agree. The, the AI is um, grouping up, making big stacks, lifting sieges a little bit better. They're just playing smarter. They're making you be a little wiser. Saks Lauenberg. You'll give me cash, you'll annul treaties, and you'll go. I, I didn't even, yeah, sure, that sounds great. <laughs> that sounds like a wonderful peace treaty. But get out of here. I guess Denmark uh, sieged those boys down in a hurry. Commonwealth, we're going to wear you down. We're going to wear you down. You have only 3,000 manpower. I have 156. So I can afford to lose these battles. He can't afford to keep fighting. He, he, he just he can't do it. He cannot keep it up. So we're going to get up to here. Get that siege down care about any of that. Still, we want the Ottoman focused where we want them. And it would be claims on Genoa when we can. This army. Alright, we'll run over to Genoa. Ooh, what are these boys doing? Gosler, what are you doing down here? Are you trying to invade my ally? Look at this. I'm actually defending Ottoman clay. This feels a little weird, but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Whoa. <laughs> no, wait a minute. But the Ottoman aren't fighting Gossler. Oh, so he's not invading the Ottoman. He's just my enemy. He happens to be running into the Ottoman territory. Whatever. Whatever I say. That is part of what? The Transylvanian War? Yeah, that's what it is. Bergen. Okay. 
Well, all fine. Um, do I want to fight this war or start this war against Genoa? It is aggressive expansion. I arguably don't need it all. Like, in the slightest. It's not required for this achievement. It's it's totally distracting my my uh, my eye from the prize, arguably. But I want to do it. <laughs> I want to do it. Let's get up here to this capital. Warsaw, Warsaw, Warsaw matters most. That's easy for you to say in terms of war score. So we'll go grab that. Genoa, we want... Uh, what is this? Kaffa, I believe. Kaffa, yes, please. Come home. Come home from Ajam as well. Wait till September 1st. Now the Ottomans should join. Yeah, the Ottoman will still join. It brings in Saluzu, but I don't actually care. I don't care about... Ooh. I co-belligerent Venice, and I can maybe pick off the knights while I'm at it. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And it'll be a cleansing of heresy. Okay. Beautiful. So three wars. Three wars is better than two. There's, there's little doubt on this. Now, it's a cleansing of heresy, so me sitting on Kaffa isn't going to get me the ticking war score. But I do have the Ottoman involved, so with some luck, they're just going to run around and smash my enemy for me anyways. I, I will have to do minimum work. So you're good there. Let's go smash the knights. And I, I don't know. Do we have a, a navy strong enough to go sit off the knights' coast? I think we do. Like, we got the Ottoman involved in this war. So, for all intents and purposes, we should. I think. And the reason I'm not doing this uh, call allies, that would just get the Ottoman involved with Transylvania. I don't want that. I don't want that at all. What I do want is to, say, maybe curry more favors with the Ottoman. We're still occurring with France, with France, with the France Reich. I was going to say the France Reich with the French, but we will spend those favors because we want to get their trust up to that magic number 70. We don't want them to notice just how aggressively we are expanding over here. Like, whoa, Avaria, dude, you are very aggressively expanding. Like, wow, I think they have a word for that. They have a term for that. Okay, so Syria... Could love me more. It would be like claims on Nojai. I don't. I don't even know if I still have these claims. It's been a while since I made them. No, I lost them all. Let's get on there. Hmm. France. Back down to favors. Trust to the moon. All right, these forts. I don't think I blew a hole on Warsaw, so I will jump onto that. Let's get up to Zeppelin. A Zem Zemplin, I believe. <clears throat> Siege that down. I'm not going to call in the Ottomans, so it's, it doesn't really matter about me carpet sieging the, the border provinces. And, and I can't see the Ottoman being involved in two large wars like this. Being like, yeah, i got to start a fourth war. What kind of crazy empire starts, or sorry, a third war when they're already involved in three or two world wars? Like, come on now. Who would be so irresponsible? Who? Answer me. So some more some more autonomy in Corsica after I gave them some already. I believe they were down to 10%. They're up at 61. Whoopsie daisy. Whoopsie daisy. Well, I will convert them. I will save those souls. Let's get south onto Gosler. Maybe I should just like take take the knights for myself. I, I would have to build some more uh, some transports to get over there, no doubt. But I mean, I can do that. I can build more transports. Let's do exactly that. Let's put out six more transports. That will be more than enough to get onto that island. This is regrettable. Rebel scum. Okay, we're coming south to take on those boys. That siege is fine. Ah, Warsaw. Perfect, perfect. Nice ticking war score. Now, what was my actual war goal? Was like Kjow? Yeah, I think it was Kjow or Kjow. Let's, let's make sure we actually have the war goal, war goal and get that ticking war score. Why can't I not talk war? The wars are hard for me to say at the moment. Considering I'm playing a game where I'm in forever war, I, I, need, to, I need to get past this mental block. This, this war block I seem to be developing in my uh, vocabulary as I blah, 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 blah through it. Those are those Qasim separatists. I could see one of my buddies taking them out. I'm not going to focus on them. Someone, someone will run up there and smash them away. This, I have confidence. 
and south. There we go. Beautiful fort in Transylvania. And let's carpet siege the rest of that down. Uh, I still have the HRE to fight down, so it's not like I'm going to be able to just quick piece them out, but this is okay. Ooh, or if I'm not taking the entirety... L I got to see what the aggressive expansion is for taking them. Because I might just take one province and then release Hungary, Hungary and then return cores in a next war to keep the aggressive expansion down. It, again, it depends how much I will get. Oh, my half-cost conversion guy is gone. Feels bad, man. Feels really bad. He helped me convert up a storm. I only have two provinces in my whole country that aren't, that, I, that souls haven't been saved. So, I mean, we're okay that way, but still half-cost conversion, guys. Feels bad. All right, that is the war goal. Let's jump up here onto this fort. You'll go to Lithuania. You, Lithuania, of course. Back together. Oh, that's a full army group. All right, I can send those boys off to, like, Venice or something. Mm -hmm. Or south. I already have one army down here. 8,000? You think I could take out those those um, those um religious rebels? Maybe. I'll give it a try. Let's go give it a try. We'll do a truce check. So the first of next year, Muscovy must be attacked. <laughs> they have no allies. They're they're so exposed. But they still, they still rock a respectable army. Wow. Huh. All right. I, I have to send some, some forces north. The Muscovites will put up a, for a fight. This is okay, though. Um, how do I want to do this? I have one army up there already. So I'll, I'll just go to Krakow instead. I'll have two army groups down in the in the southwest. And I'll have two army groups in the north. That is how this will go down. Do -do -do. France, you know what we're doing. Spending those favors. We're currying favors and spending favors as fast as we can get them. Right, we're sieging that down. Can we toss out any enemies? Hess? No. The knights would be tossed out, but I would rather you not exist, knights. That's that's the truth of the matter. I would rather you just completely not exist. Now, those boys are locked in. I am going to take that battle. We'll swing around to help. You have a 5-3-3 general on. I think you're pretty darn good. Let's see how this goes. Some overwhelming numbers against the uh, the Polish forces. He has minimal reinforcements, and we have Ottomans coming to help. Not, not like we a commanding win, but not the uh, losses I would hope. That's gonna change as we siege down more and more of his country. He has less and less places to retreat to, and he has no manpower. Or anything. Like surely he's he's already uh, slackening standards. I, I would almost to a certainty. Do -do -do. I'm not going to call in anyone, and we're just waiting on the Muscovite War to begin. Little hole there. Looks like Hess wants uh, peace. They give me some cash. I get no aggressive expansion. Not even going to worry about it. I accept. You go in peace, my friend. Life is good. Okay, so we need claims on the Muscovites. Mujai, I will take claims on. I come out with those rebels. And it's January 1st. Like I said, there is no coalition that is formed at the moment. But I don't need to give... I don't need to give them a chance. I don't need even one country to get in on this coalition with the Russians. The Muscovites are my eternal enemies and it's war number four. War number four. -a. Let's go. <laughs> now I'm really hoping... Not hoping. I, I'm really relying on... The Ottomans carrying the day in the in these other wars. I don't need to be um, carrying, doing the heavy lifting in these other places, in these other theaters of battle. I need the Ottoman to just charge forward, smash my enemy away. Commonwealth are down, but not out of it yet. Let's check Transylvania. We could piece you out. Okay, if we took everything, what would you do? You'd go to here? That blocks it from the Ottoman. Alright, this allows me to piece this out now. Now, I can't release Hungary at the moment. But that's not a big deal. These country, these provinces can just sit there. When I finally get to peace, I will release them. Or I just go a little bit less. 
And I'm going to be in a couple other wars. So I, I can afford to take some cash. The war reps I don't care about. The treaties. You definitely don't need access to the Commonwealth. No, that would be too much. Okay, that's too much. Fine, there we go. I have Hungarian cores to release. It should show up. Uh, it, it won't allow me to look at it at the moment, but I should be able to release Hungary. We are feeling good to go. And uh, I will go ahead and save the souls of Zeppelin and Bihar. Let's march forward. Now, I don't have to worry about those HRE little countries popping out and being annoying. It's not like the Ottoman were fighting them anyways, but still, they, they could be annoying to me. They could start sieging down my territory. We got no time for that. No interest in this whatsoever. So, Muscovites, I want to get to you, sir. Boom, that's Smolensk. Hand that to Lithuania. I don't need to be paying for that. And it's all going to be part of Lithuanian clay anyway. So they got Warsaw back. I don't want to fight them right away. Not, not on my own. I, I want to get my two halves of my army together. Alright. They turned off me. If I could jump back onto Warsaw, that would be awesome. Nope. That's not happening. Okay, Krakow. I'll just I'll just pound up onto Krakow. I gotta make sure I win this siege, then we'll jump back to Warsaw one step at a time. We are good. There's all our transports. You get back to protecting trade in the Crimea. You're losing money. So Constantinople, that's better. I'm safe because I'm I'm behind the Ottoman fleet, protecting trade in Constantinople, but I'm not all the way out in the Mediterranean. I don't want to be out there. I know I'd make more money, but the fleet will get picked off. I, I will forget to hide them and they'll get picked off and it's useless. So that's why I have them where they are. Okay, we're on to our first Muscovite fort. They are attacking the mountain. Let's get out that way. Get the defensive edict on there. Should have had that on from day one, but I do want to save that mountain fort. So we're going to charge straight out that way. Now for a military tech. Ah, I want to save up for that. That will help big time to smash the Muscovites out of my way. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab some spy network on the Commonwealth since we are sieging down those forts. Cleves. Cleves is demanding property from me. Get out of here, Cleves. <laughs> like, wake up. Are you even paying attention? You are, you are not in charge here, man. You are absolutely not in charge. So it's back to Warsaw. What's going to go on here, dude? Are you... Kind of seems like he's going to attack me. What is going to happen? He he wants to. He definitely wants to. I don't know if he's going to, but he wants to. He's like itching to. Oh, let me at him. Let me, and he got that mountain fort. He got that mountain fort. That is most annoying. Oh, that's annoying. Hmm. And they have 240 troops. I, I gotta do it. I gotta waste the points. Get that mountain port right back. I can't I cannot allow him to hold on to that. That 20,000 of his. Where are you going? You're just charging deep into my land to be annoying. Okay. I have numbers and better troops, so I am actually okay with going and taking that fight with him. Allow us to do combat, my friend. So the PayPal states. They won't wipe peace out yet. So we'll, we'll let the Ottomans siege down the uh, to Rome proper. Nice. Warsaw fell. This is good. This is good. Um, this is where, like, smoking this 6,000, I think, is uh, a good priority. We have we have fairly good visibility. Yeah, I, I see his 35,000 running north. So we're okay there. These boys are still in there. We'll smash you. Back together. Don't move. Oh, they're moving. They're moving. They're oh, too bad. Too bad. I'm going to give Chase. Still try to catch them. Doo -doo. Nah, they've, they've officially got away. Oh, I got him. Gotcha. <laughs> Surprise. And, and if he didn't turn around any of his buds, it doesn't look like he did. That, that's a nice, easy win for me. Nice, easy win for me. Okay, so yeah, he's focusing on Novgorod for reasons. We've got half of the Muscovite army isolated. Smashy, smashy with some reinforcements. Perfect, and he's only he's only retreating. Yes, the mountain fort. 
The mountain fort got him blocked back here, so I get the wipe on him. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we're sieging down these two. Let's get up to Brogno. One, two up to Truro. And this is all of my army is gainfully employed. Yes, we are. That's so good. I'm getting this wipe on the Muscovites. Do it. Wipe them. Wipe them. And not a wipe. Okay, where do you go? One more plot? Yeah, we'll, we'll keep chasing. This is good for us. This is good for us. We are fine with this. That's the first fort done. Where is their actual capital? Rostov, Yaroslav, Nishi Novgorod. Nishi Novgorod. Well, I got three forts in between me and Nishi Novgorod. But being that they're trying to push into my land, I would rather them not push into my land. And I'm going to uh, go engage. So let's say... Let's say Troki and Lida, and then up to this fort of Vilno after that. We get up to... Hmm. Where do we want to engage? I, I don't like them sieging that fort back. Yeah, that's where we're going to go take them on. I got a bad feeling about them. Oh, no! Oh, they got a wipe of half my army! <laughs> no! Commonwealth, no! Think about what you're doing! Well, let's get that those boys back together. Hmm. That's playing in mock speed 5 right there. So I, I do need to replenish them. What just got lost? It was 10, 1, and 1. And I don't exactly have a safe spot, a safe place to uh, to build up this army. Genoa we can piece out. I think piecing out Genoa would be wise right now. Let's bring our diplomat home from Russia. They're coming south. These boys are in full retreat. We're going to get you together. Uh, to do. Okay, so you'll come down south here. Let's see if we can pick up some buddies to join with me. Venice, what do you offer me? You offer me cash and ducats. I think that is fine by me. Off you go. Okay, so this army is back together. Let's get up to Polsk. Uh, I could still lift this siege. Yeah, that, that should be my priority. Lifting this siege. I, I don't need them taking Krakow back. I don't want them taking any of the forts back from me. And I can see their 35 stack now. No more mistakes. No more no more silly mistakes like that. Boom, you boys are still holding on. The Muscovites, even though I beat them three times in a row, will not be wiped. They refuse to be stack wiped. So we'll just keep giving chase. This is okay. We are beating them. Do -do. So we're at 35% there. Of course, I don't need to leave full armies down here. I can just leave a single a single army units can uh, can handle these boys. Let's get nice. Look at this. Look at this general. Four four six one. Beautiful. Uma Khan, you are awesome, dude. Uma Khan. Seems like I got a lot of generals named Khan. I I thought Khan was just supposed to be the dude on top, but sure. Okay. Finally, finally, they're gonna they're gonna take these guys down to the last man. I, Muscovy, the um. The morale champs of EU4. Wow, okay. Well well done. Well done. So we're going to keep chasing these boys out of here. And I'll, I'll leave another single army to start sieging back my territory. I, I should have a single uh, fort up here. That would help quite a bit. But it's fine. We're going to save that siege. Then we'll come up to Warsaw after that. And piecing out our enemy. The PayPal states. You should have a pile of cash for me. I want war reps. And then whatever you give me. 276. Don't really care about your allies. Austria. No, you're not allied with him. So you can go in peace. Because he was part of this Genoa war. The Genoa offensive, we're calling it. Let's get some trade efficiency. Uh, and all of my armies are employed. Now I can start reforming the, those lost troops. All right, so we, we lift the one siege, then I'll, I'll go north onto Warsaw next. Let's go. I can still see their 35 stacks, so we're safe. Oh, that's a whoopsie-daisy. The 1,000 kept running. Whoopsie-daisy. 
And it, are they finally wiped here? I mean, I, I'm a little surprised that these guys are still kicking her, but they are. What a random mission. Make Dish Martian like me. Dish Martian? Why? Why Dish Martian? Like, I don't, I'm not even that close to them. But, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I just, I don't really understand the, the point of the mission. That's, that's my only point here. I, I will do the mission. I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. That will siege back. Finally get into Muscovite proper. We are lifting the siege there. I can't see their 35,000. So there's a chance I could lose that, but whatever details. Akin and Utrik, I can't throw you out. Genoa and the Knights. Now Genoa, throwing them out. I could always come back for the Knights. I can get my one province almost certainly out of Genoa. Let's check that out. Let's see if that is true or not. Kaffa, you will give it to me. Will you give me the Knights too? No, I don't. I don't. I don't possess it, so he he can't possibly give it to me. It's for your allies. We don't care about Venice. We'll take those war reps. Whatever cash you'll give me, and we have officially ho uh, cleaned up the home area from the um, from the scourge of the Crusaders. What were you doing in Greater Avaria, Crusaders? You you did not belong in here at all. Now we can keep pushing forward. Uh, I don't want to be coring you up. That is Greater Hungary. So we'll keep you intact. Alright, perfect. Let's get you... Uh, to do The capital makes the most sense. Nishi Novgorod, that's where we want to be. You boys will get up onto Perm. We'll start sieging the interior down. And with everyone else out... The Ottoman should start fighting um, the Commonwealth a bit more. It shouldn't be just me fighting them up here. Because that's what it feels like right now. It feels like I am doing a lot of heavy lifting. Get on to Poznan. And I'll go to Lingasina. And I'll just keep my other army close by to, uh, to help out. Let the Holy Church be. What is the patriarchal authority at? We love it. 89%. We love our patriarch. Long live... The Patriarch. Boom, that's a nice little wipe. Again, I want the military tech, so I'm not going to blow a hole through the wall. It hurts me. It hurts me. I want to do it. Hey, why, are you coming, why are you coming south for me like this? I'll just flee, and we'll build the troops manually. It's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1... And one. And then this 1,000 will meet up with them in Abagaza. Because I, I suspect they're tr they're coming down to try to pick off that one stack. They don't want to fight my main armies. But they see me forming another one up in the south. So they think they're going to go pounce on that. And I'm like, uh-uh, that ain't happening. Just like this 35 stack is coming trying to repeat what he did before. Now, it's a Highlands. Do I risk taking this battle here? You know what? I am. I'm just going to stack up there. If I lose, I lose. So be it. So be it. Come at me in the Highlands. <laughs> of course, he's on Warsaw. I don't want him to take Warsaw. <laughs> don't take Warsaw, dude. Get out of here. Quit taking back all my gains. My gains, man. My gains. <laughs> uh, do we got more for forts. I guess Kazan is my closest fort. But with Ru Russian troops up in here, I can't ignore those boys. No, I, I can't ignore those boys. I gotta get up into into uh, the interior, start sieging down all these areas. So what are you doing? Yeah, Muscovite, or the Ottoman are coming. The Ottoman are coming. Yes, this is what we want. The Ottoman are here. We've still got our war goal. The Ottoman are finally arriving. It feels good. Go lift the siege. Yes, they are. They lift the siege. Uh, exactly. They're like listening to my instructions. They are they are allowing my leadership to guide them. And we are accelerating because of it. Not accelerating. Excelling. We are excelling because of it. Accelerating. <laughs> We're accelerating. We're accelerating to oblivion. Not oblivion. To infinity and beyond. That 11 stack. They're just coming from my capital. Coming from my cap, eh, boys? Coming from my cap. Put this all carpet siege down. I am sitting on their capital, so I mean, it's reasonable that they're trying to take mine, but still, get out of here with that nonsense. I don't have an army to come smash you. 
I still need to be watching this 35 stack because my 12 can get picked off. I am not invincible. Even with 70,000 Ottoman running around, I am far from invincible. Ooh, what a great pop-up. The radical reforms. You know what to do. You throw your yearly inflation reduction advisor away. You throw your trade efficiency. Get out of here, both of you. 400 mana. 400, yes. And then you hire him right back. Hey, I regret all those bad things I said about you guys. Come back into the fold. We always liked you guys. You, you're competent. Now, we could get ahead on our Diplotech. It's pretty expensive to take the printing press. It's probably worth doing. Or I just loan up, take the printing press, and then accept it. We'll wait out. We'll wait out. It's it's spreading. I'm, I, I'm not in a rush. We are fine. They're not stopping on my capital, it appears. Like, they've just ran right on. So, okay. And then for our war goal, we need Kazan. Kazan's this fort right here. Okay. I, I, I totally stepped on the wrong fort. I got on their capital. I should have got on Kazan. That's a slight whoopsie-daisy. Now, his armies are far enough away. I could probably... Probably. I am fairly safe to divide myself up. And uh, siege it down. What, I, what I'm going to do is just abandon the rest of this after this. Reform this, my Eastern Army group. And we're going to come straight south. And I'll, I'll leave this, this like two stack. You guys can siege down enemy territories. Together. They're better together. Right, you're coming south. You boys as well. Bataka. Let's come... So how are we doing here? They've stepped into a Highland Fort. Alright. If I have to fight you, I'd rather fight you in a Highland Fort. Mm -hmm. Novgorod will like me. Or uh, just 15 Dipple Points. I don't even care if Novgorod likes me. So, so having a slight chance of Novgorod liking me a little bit more? What? Who cares? Oh, what difference does this make to like literally anybody? I don't care. Take my truth, uh, trust with France. Viva la France. I'm just watching out for this 35. Intact 35 sack. Ottoman, you have 81,000. Go fight them, man. Just go fight them. Smack them away. They're right next to you. I don't see any reason to uh, to be avoiding them. Is, do I have the join? Yeah, that's probably what it is. They're prioritizing joining me over over smacking the enemy away. You gotta. I do like that Ottoman. That is pretty awesome. But we we gotta take him out. We gotta take out the enemies. We gotta win the wars first. Right, so what's the best general we can get on there? This is pretty good. Five four three two. He's my heir, so I will pull him off right away. I just want to uh, lift this siege first. Do -do. There we go. Perfect. Took off. Boys are heading north. We're coming south to Astrakhan. First fort fallen. So what I want to do... Opal Separatists? I don't really want to fight your Separatists. I'm going to totally just run around those boys. And then... Yeah, if I have to come pick, fight these 36,000 myself, that's what I'll do. Whatever. I was kind of waiting on the Ottoman, but the Ottoman are just not doing it. They're not doing it. Pretty commanding victory here. We'll smash the 1,000 and then over to Lakia. Get out of my capital region. You do not belong down here, son. You are lost. You are clearly lost. So it's 16. Man, how do the Commonwealth have so many troops attacked still? North or south. Military tech. That one I will take ahead of time for sure. Every little military advantage I can get, I will take. Muslim, uh, was it Muslim Musketeer Cavalry? Sounds perfect. Back together. Do, 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 do. We have two forts falling. They're coming up north. They've already lost their gold mine. The Muscovites are having a bad, bad day. Their attempt invasion of my heartland has failed. Officially failed. The Opal Separatists, get out of here with that nonsense. Muscovites, you got this? No, he ran right by him. I thought he was about to smash them. Okay, I'll go handle these separatists. This is fine. Again, I can see the um, the Lithuanian numbers are nowhere close to me. If anything, it's my, my Muscovy core that has to worry about Lithuania. Aachen, we can pillage you. 
A little bit of aggressive expansion. How much? Whatever. I'll just accept it. I don't want to go in and, and figure out my own peace treaty with you. So if that's the easiest way to do it, we accept. <laughs> kind of silly, but we accept. So Ottoman are handing those rebels. So we'll go up to Vilno. It's only a couple forts left, like Vilno and Polak. They are running out. And then they won that siege. So we'll have to take that back. And then they're, they're just running away. You're running away from my smaller armies. Look how small my armies are. Why would you run? You cowards. Cowards. And what are you doing, Muscovy? They're probably trying to lift those sieges. I just, I don't think they have the numbers to do so over there. Whatever. Do your thing. It is pleasing to see 22,000 manpower. Where are those pop-ups when you are like chronically d short and out of manpower? I'm, I was sitting at 143,000 before Ed. So it's, it was a pretty low priority to get a bonus 22. Thank you. I shouldn't, I should not be complaining. I should just be thankful, but come on. Timing, okay? Timing is everything. Someone very special to me said that. Timing is everything in life. That's another fort of the east. Now we're doing another check for Commonwealth forces. Uh, I can't see them, so I, I do want to get my, uh, my army standing right next to one another. Side by side. Boom, that's an estate complete. Except... And the Muscovite forces, we're catching them again and again and again. They're having a very, very bad go of things. Coming north onto this fort. Perfecto. They're, they're still fighting, though. They're not, they're not like, just easy wiping for me at all. I don't want to lose this air. I, I will pull them off these battles. One battle was enough. After that, multiple battles and having them run around the map. That's kind of reckless. Not, not required. Don't need this 4,000 to slip through to Penza. So we will swing around. Smash those boys. Where are you coming? Etkara? Yeah, that's where he's going. So stutter. There we go. Beautiful. So it's locked. We'll smash you. We're back north to Rostov. Don't care about the techs at the moment. Commonwealth, what are your total numbers? 49,000 still. You, you're running, but he's got 1,000 reserve. He's got no reserves. He's, he's done like dinner. We'll get Lithuanian's capital back. Utrecht. They'll give me cash. I'm not even going to look at the rest. Go in peace. And when in doubt, you just improve with your allies, like with some trust with Denmark. We're going to improve relations with the Ottoman. It's a nice little four wipe. And the the, uh, the Muscovites. No, they still have an intact army somewhere. Okay. Where's this army? Is that these guys? No, they're like 4,000. Ah, it's combined. They're just running around the far south. Well, we'll come get these forts. That's good, though. That that tells me that I can siege both these forts at the, at the same time and not really worry about it. They're not going to just pop out and smash me away. Surprise, smash me away. Surprise, mother. Boom. The Ottoman is just showing off, uh, showing his authority, his dominance of the north, running around with a 76 stack. Ah, okay. I guess... You could just go fight the Commonwealth instead. That's another idea, you know? Just this crazy idea. Instead of running around with these crazy shows of dominance, fight them. Fight them one-on-one. -on -one. Do that kind of dominance, you know? Whatever. If he won't, I will. I'll chase him down with my smaller army. It's okay for me. Do -do -do. Commonwealth. <laughs> yeah, they are up in Denmark. Oh, yeah, because Denmark. Denmark joined this war on my side. Thank you, Denmark. Yeah, we don't need to go any farther than this, actually. What we should be trying to get is all of these Lithuanian cores in my possession. So that is what we're going to do. Say Lithuania. Though I don't even think I can get them all returned. I think it's too much to do in one war here. But we're going to we're gonna find out right now. Boom. 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 All of it would be Lithuania. Okay, so if we're to piece you out, Mr. Lithuania, if that is your real name, nope, let's just clear that off. I'll start going down this list. We'll see how far we'll, we, we will get. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. 
Okay, so that that's as far as it would go over over just taking and taking. Now I would it would make more sense to um, make a border, make a border on this outside border here. So it's it only comes down to here. So it would be like this, something like that. Okay, they're not all 0%, but they, they are all held by Lithuania. And I can always get back to another war with him. And it's only 19 aggressive expansion. So it's it's the max I can take for right now in one war. And it is sliced. Look at this border gore. We have just sliced, 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 sliced the Commonwealth. Oh, I want to see what happens to them. Where are they? They're still showing 8. I don't know if that'll be the same in a couple days. Recall, come back. How are you looking, Commonwealth? Commonwealth is just holding on by a thread. They hold on by a thread. I did my best. I was trying to get them off of that list. I don't need them um, running around as a great power on my border. I don't like the. Uh, I don't like how that feels. That doesn't feel right to me. So that's what we're trying to uh, solve there. We got eighty-one percent on the Muscovites. Let's finish strong with these boys here. They have their armies running around the south. They don't know what they're doing. I don't have to actually wait for any coring or anything because I gave that all to Lithuania. It's all free cores, all free land. But I am not at 100% on the Muscovites. That's the only thing. 82%. We're, we're, we'll almost certainly have to take one of these forts. Or carpet siege down everything else. Either or. Hey, more patriarchal authority. I'm, I'm not even going to look at what the negative debuffs are. I don't care. That's our 99. We don't need to go any deeper. The Muscovites have long been chipped away, so for sure we'll take our claims. Let us also grow Novgorod too. All right, so we can't piece them out right away because I, I want to give like a couple provinces to Novgorod, even if it's just these these uh, bordering provinces. I would I would like to send them away. It's it seems reasonable. That seems reasonable. What? Herzegovina is being attacked by the Ottomans. What? And I'm the defender of the faith. Oh no! <laughs> Ottoman! What are you doing? You're my ally, Ottoman! Well, I, I'm no longer defender of the faith. It's too early. I'm not ready to take that yet. And I, I'm not going to switch on the Ottoman. Not yet. That's kind of funny. Unexpected. Honestly, unexpected. Ottoman, you braze mother trucker, you. You brazen mother very very brave and brazen of you all right so this would be novgorod you are novgorod uh these bordering now they're actually muscovites i don't and i have muscovite as an accepted culture so that's why you know maybe i shouldn't give them all now that's novgorod so for sure this one we can give them these like three bordering provinces four bordering provinces yeah four is fine it's just less for me to uh, to have to core up myself. Okay, so we have our three claims, and we have those three provinces for them. War reps, and one more. AE is fine. We grow. They are shrunken. The Muscovy is, is now officially a second-rate power. And... Um, did we pop back to number one? No, the Ottoman! Because the Ottoman have accepted it. I don't like this. Can I accept it? I don't want to end this episode with the Ottoman ahead of me as a great power. That just does not feel right. One, two, and three. Do, do, do. We have a mission fulfilled. Build a treasury. We're okay with that. Embrace an institution. Take a tech, take a tech. Yes, please. Now, does the month tick have to occur? Maybe. All right, we'll let the uh, monthly tick occur. Not a problem. Not a problem. I, they are not going to be ahead of me. I don't even care about taking the idea group. I just don't want the Ottoman to be ahead of me. I don't like that at all. These boys, let's get you here. You together. You south. And monthly tick. Yes, I like that. Commonwealth are no longer big enough. And we're number one! We're number one. We stand alone, Avadia. Ottoman are attacking my little subject nations. Well, there's not too many small Orthodox countries left that he could attack like that. That was really surprising. I wish he had done that 
uh, an episode or two from now. That would have been perfect. That would have been my chance to turn on the Ottoman, taking those um, Hungarian cores back. But unfortunately, I hadn't even released Hungary yet. That is the other part of the problem. I'll stop talking now. Comment, like, all that great stuff. The end is in sight. Come and get it with me, my chads. Have a good one. Goodbye.